What's the biggest bullet you've ever dodged? Mystery of stuff. A year ago, almost to the day, I was offered a new job. It was exactly what I was looking for and was really excited. They told me they would email the contract, but after a week I hadn't had anything. After a lot of chasing they told me they'd changed the structure of the organization so the position wasn't available. I have a month's notice for my current job, and if I had taken the job my notice period would have been after the cutoff date for furlough in the UK. The new job was in an industry that collapsed through the pandemic and the industry I work in has boomed. If I had received that email I would have probably been close to bankruptcy now. Once at a bar a woman was surprisingly into me as we danced. If I had had more confidence back then I definitely could have taken her home. In the end, one of my karaoke buddies ended up with her instead and got caught by her husband that night. I knew a guy that got stabbed by the husband after he went home with a woman. Apparently she liked seeing the husband go crazy on the dude she brought home. I got on an intercity bus and almost sat in the middle, but moved and sat at the back. The bus later collided with a truck and got opened up like a tin can. If I had sat where I originally intended I would have been killed. I was subletting an apartment in college and got sapped by the electric stove. Gave notice immediately and moved out with very clear reasons why I was moving out. The building burned a few weeks later. I was a teen driver not paying attention at an intersection at the crest of a hill with low visibility when the light turned green. The car behind me honked and just as I was about to go a truck barreled through the red light on the perpendicular road at decidedly ludicrous speed. If I had been paying attention and gone when the light turned green, I very likely would have been t-boned to death. Closest call I've ever had. I was out kayaking on a lake and several bullets whizzed by me. There was a distinct buzz crack buzz sound as it went by. I think some people were just out plinking in their backyard, adjacent to the lake, and didn't think a backstop was necessary. This also happened to me a few weeks later when I was paddling on a small stream. Bullets whizzed by above the bank, just over my head. I don't think anyone knew I was there either time. Regardless, when you go out and shoot stuff, make sure there's a backstop, FFS. Also, I don't know how big the bullets were, so I'm unsure which was the biggest bullet dodged. My ex-girlfriend moved out of my house a day before the first lockdown in Spain. She previously pulled a knife on me. About six months after I left my ex, he got caught sexting a 12-year-old, he was 34 at the time. Edit, I had the wrong age. He was 34 when it started. By the time he was in jail he was 36. 2005, my friend and I evacuated New Orleans two days before Hurricane Katrina and drove to Mississippi with the little money we had. We were trying to decide it on where to stay for the night and it was between a mid-range hotel or the really cheap motel. Decided to spend a little more for the hotel. During the night the eye of the storm came through Mississippi and flattened the roof of the motel we decided against. My mom wasn't going to leave for Katrina, I told her I was going to take me and my little sister and hitchhike if she didn't pack the car and leave within the hour. My dad didn't leave and he ended up on the roof with our neighbor because our house got flooded. No way all of us would have survived, Katrina decimated my town, everything two miles inland or less was destroyed. I was booked on Pan AM Flight 103 which went down over Lockerbie, Scotland. I didn't have a premonition or anything supernatural. I just decided to cancel my seat. Didn't think anything of it until the plane went down and my mother had written down my flight plan and reminded me. This was back in the day when you could cancel without a penalty up to a couple of days in advance. I matched with a guy on Tinder who played for the Atlanta Falcons. He was really charming and seemed nice. He asked me to fly down to Atlantic City for Memorial Day weekend, said he would pay for everything, airfare, hotel, food, etc., but I had never met him before and he refused to give me his phone number. I was uncomfortable flying to meet a stranger so I told him no. Two weeks later he was on the news for kicking and killing his girlfriend's dog. 
Had a friend who asked if I wanted to move to CA with him and his family. I was 16 and thought it sounded fun. I didn't know at the time, but he was actually rescuing me from my insane mother and a not-so-happy home life. When you are abused, sometimes it is hard to know you are abused until you become an adult and gain a perspective. I shudder to think what would have happened to me if I had stayed there. I had two job offers in different states at the same time. The one I didn't take was offering more money, but I just didn't gel with the guy who would be my boss and really liked the guy who would be my boss at the lower offer. The better offer was in a state I had always wanted to live in, for a company I admired, but something felt off so I went with the lower offer. I ended up meeting my wife in the city of the lower offer. Meanwhile, the company that had given me the higher offer abruptly closed and laid off their entire staff with no severance, so if I had taken that I would have been stuck on the other side of the country with no job and no money. My first ever boyfriend dated me when I was 14 and he was 16. We only dated for one week before he took me into the woods and forced me to kiss him. I started to feel icky and broke it off that same day. Five years later I found out that he was now in prison for raping two 14-year-old girls. Not me, a Dutch mate of mine living in Tasmania, had to visit his sick mum in Amsterdam. Booking his flight online, he said to his wife you know, I'm sick of flying Malaysian airlines, the food is shit, the hosties are miserable, it'll cost more, but I'm booking with Singapore. So, instead of dying on MH17, he was on a plane 40 kilometers ahead of it. Edit, just to clarify, he was on way home from AMS. That time I didn't go along for the ride when a friend of mine was running weed, years ago, back when it was more illegal. I was bored and unemployed at the time, and passed on this trip, because I had to go to a job interview to be a zombie for Halloween festivities at an amusement park. I got the job, my friend got arrested and did 30 days in jail. <laughs>